guys, today I will talk about breadfruit and the history associated with it. You probably have heard of breadfruit trees before from your history lessons of Munity on the Bounty and the Captain William Bly. The Munity on the Bounty has become a famous story leading to many books and movies. The sailing ship Bounty became famous when the crew took over the ship from Captain William Bly. The British government was hoping the breadfruit trees growing wild in Tahiti could be grown in Jamaica. This would provide cheap food for the slaves working on the sugar farms. The bounty set off on a long trip to Tahiti. On the journey, William Bly tried to go around Cape Horn. He tried for over a month, but bad weather and winds kept pushing the ship back. Bounty gave up that short route and turned around to go the longer way around the Cape of Good Hope. Bounty reached Tahiti after she had been at sea for ten months. The crew stayed for five months and lived on the island. They collected 1,015 breadfruit plants. That's a lot. The Bounty left Tahiti on the way to Jamaica, but near the friendly islands of Tonga, the first officer, Fletcher Christian, led the immunity takeover. Bly and 18 sailors were put to sea in a small lifeboat while Christian and the Bounty sailed the Bounty back to Tahiti. It turns out that William Bly was one of the more capable and amazing sea captains of his day. After the immunity and Bly's incredible return to England, the young captain recently cleared by the Admiralty of wrongdoing. Bly was sent off again on another two-year mission to the South Pacific to finish his mission to get the breadfruit trees. The trip was very hard, but nevertheless, they were able to collect breadfruit plants and store them on deck in pots and tubs. This trip was successful, and Bly's ship, Province, docked at Port Royal with 678 trees, still alive and replanted. The breadfruit thrived in the dark soils and the tropical climate of Jamaica, and took over two generations before people of Jamaica took to eating the Pacific food. So everyone went through all this trouble for these breadfruit trees. Makes you wonder what the breadfruit attraction was all about. The breadfruit tree is a large and broad tree that all year round produces breadfruit, never taking a break. The tree belongs to the mulberry family. The breadfruit is an easy grown and packed with vitamins and loads of nutrients. When cooked, the texture and taste of the fruit is similar to bread or potato. It can be roasted, boiled, fried, made into breads, curries, muffins, and cookies. I'm lucky to have a breadfruit tree in my yard. We usually put the whole fruit in foil paper and bake for about an hour and a half. But today I would like to do something different. We will cook it at the hot springs, small pool in the native style as I see many local people cook. Boil corn and other foods here. And these always hot boiling springs that nature provides for free. The hot springs are in the, in the town of Savu Savu. Some of the springs are run down the hot stream to the beach, and steam can be seen rising from the water at low tide. Savu Savu hot springs are well known to Fijians for the practical use of these springs to cook their food. In the 19th century, they told the Europeans that such springs here have existed as long as they can remember. Here we go. We put the breadfruit in the foil paper and then in the bag and then dip them carefully in the hot springs. About 30 minutes later, let's see what we got. As I expected, tastes like a potato are similar to freshly baked bread. <laughs>